The APC National Integrity Movement, ANIM, under the leadership of Honorable Sadiq Fakai, has joined other women in Nigerians to congratulate the victory of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the Supreme Court in upholding the earlier declaration by Independent Electoral Commission as the winner of the February 25th presidential election. Honorable Fakai will also use the congratulatory message to allow the Nigerian judiciary for exhibiting professionalism using logical conclusions rather than emotional sentiment of some gullible Nigerians while interpreting the judgment which undoubtedly turned them to the envy of international community. Well, um, Alhamdulillah, as a member of Progressive Family and leading the largest movement of our great party, APC National Integrity Movement, which we are part of and the frontline movement in terms of campaign and conversing for the success of these administrations in, and the presidency of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I can say today is a historic day to our great party and the nation and also our judiciary institution. Because we are having taken time and look, look at, looking at the judgment critically, you can see the judges has done what is expected of them to do. And that made the system to be more stronger that make Nigerians to have more confidence and even international community with the judiciary system of this of our country. If you can read the judgments, it doesn't take them much time as usual because they have looked at coming out from the previous judge of this court of appeal, as in, in tribunal court of appeal, presidential tribunal court of appeal. Judges have done what is expected of them. They have looked at the judgment critically and they have given their judgment. At the end of the day, Alhamdulillah, the judgment come in favor of our great party and our present president, Bola Hamid Tinibu. All thanks and glory to God by the grace of God. So we thank, we thank all the judges for what they have done. And we thank all Nigerians for supporting and following the judgment with key interest. Basically, if you can understand, so I can say from the judgment, this is a long awaiting judgment of the final court, which is now over. So, my call as long as they are progressive people, they really mean well for the country. I'm talking about other opposition parties that feel they are not comfortable with all the process and they went to court. They have done the best thing because it's good for when you are not comfortable, you go to the court so that you ask for court decision, which they have gone. They have gotten it today, the final judgment has come. So my call to them is, let them drop all the differences aside. This is a governing time. We have enough distraction, but now it's over coming with, our, based on the outcome of the Supreme Court today. Let them drop all their differences and join her with these administrations. Make sure that we deliver the dividend of democracy, so that Nigeria will benefit from the government. Because if they if they keep on taking side, feeling that they are not comfortable, the election is a free and fair election, and that is the election that produces the president. And the president is in government, and we are in government time. And nobody stopped them to ask if they are not comfortable which that has been done and the judgment has been come. So let them drop their differences aside and join her with the current administration to make sure that we deliver the dividend of democracy, all the renew of agenda that Mr. President has, at least it will come to reality for the benefit of the country. It therefore sour encomium on the APC National Chairman, Dr. Umar Ganduje, for his untireless efforts in positioning the party to accommodate every member I, you know, the, the, our party, the APC, under the leadership of His Excellency Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje, the party is trying to unite more members, at least to support the presidency in delivering the promise, all our campaign promises, which I believe, despite the fact we face a lot of distractions, and now it's over. I can see you have seen the chairman has been in the court, even the time of being in the uh, tribunal appeal court today in the Supreme Court getting the final judgment. I believe Mr. Chairman is a very he's an experienced person in terms of political activities and the system. So I believe Mr. Chairman is going to support with all the idea and other stakeholders of the party to make sure that we deliver all our promises. The government is just this is just the beginning of the government. No more distractions. 
and president has his own manifesto, he has his own agenda, he has his plan for the country and he starts executing it. And I believe what we need from Nigerian, this administration needs their prayers, need their time. You understand our goodwill. There is no way you will be wishing your government or your leaders something different and you expect to get something different. So we expect this is the best time for us to unite and remain focused as the president is doing what it takes to make sure that he deliver all his renewal agenda for the benefit of this country. Just to congratulate ourselves, we the members of Progressive Family, and to congratulate our president. Because the victory of today is all our victory. And my call for the members of the general public, as I say earlier, is for them to keep on praying and wishing this government well and success. I believe the president remains committed to deliver the dividends of democracy for Nigerians. And I believe from the look of things we have begun to see this sign. And by the grace of God, Nigeria will smile at the end of the day. Thank you very much. Tolu Lokwe Oludayo for Newsporter Africa TV.